game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Video Game Bang. We are live. We are thrive. We're ready to go. <laughs> You're to like a, We're thrive, baby. I backed myself into a corner. That was like a Kaiser Permanente <laughs> commercial right there or something. Mom oh, speak speaking of segue, a uh, new sponsor, Kaiser Permanente. Hey. Thrive. Hey. Thrive. <laughs> Uh, we this is a, a new new show that we're doing. It's called the Weekend Show. And, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Brand new, never yeah. been done before. It's totally. never been done before. Definitely Podcasts. Not I was like, what? Yeah. what the hell have I been doing then here on Saturdays, other days? Uh, mm -hmm. you, That's for our yeah. own private collection. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yes. laughs> they let us do podcasts on Saturdays now. Yeah, it's it's really it's a new new law that passed. Uh, thanks, Obama. Thanks, net neutrality. And. Uh, yeah, you know what? Hang on. Thanks, speaking Brexit. Of, speaking of thanks, thanks, Obama. Here's a uh, a little tidbit I found out recently. Uh, the border uh, into Mexico <laughs> at San Diego <laughs> still says. No, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this it's better tie says, into something. It ties in. It's it a soldier in. boy or something. Yeah, <laughs> no, it ties into thanks, Obama. It, the plaque still says uh, President Barack Obama of the United States, the one down. In San Diego, California don't give a fuck. No, we're like, yeah, no, he's yeah, because <laughs> we're like, he'll be he's back. Right. He'll be back. Don't worry, just he'll be back. Time. Yeah, like just give him time. Uh, Eddie Villanueva is joining us, fight. everybody. I don't know how that segued into me, but what's up, y'all? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, uh, I could see why some haters would be able to tie that introduction into you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, you wanna you wanna expand on that? Nope. Yeah, because uh, uh, what, but wait, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. Can you explain that? to you me? You know who can explain that? Corey Vincent, hey, what's up, everybody? What are we explaining? I got this. Uh, we're explaining how David's racist. Yeah. Oh, yikes! Wow. You know what? I think it's the chair. <laughs> All this time we've been blaming Corey, I, and now he's uh, now he's uh, I'm sure telling Corey you that Corey's that racist. So just to, yeah, give me give me a little bit, guys. <laughs> I'm just warming up. And uh, fresh off her lecture circuit, we have uh, Professor Emma Skies. Thank wow. you for joining us. I hate you. Uh, how was oh, wow. <laughs> damn? How was your TED talk today? You had a uh, TED talk. It was, it, was, it was good. It was good. It's good. It was good. a success. Are you that's gonna a let? Good, that's okay, a good thing. that was her good. version of it. Can I? Can I give my version? Yeah. You, you were. Were you auditing? Or are you actually? Are you in the class? Like, are you hoping to get like a grade point average? Out Wait. Of did you say auditing? I did what? say yes. auditing. Like, uh, you as audit opposed a course. to critique. No, you no, audit you a course. course. He's right. Okay. You whatever. go to college. You. It's a pass. Is mm -hmm. is it even a pass fail? You just sit no. there. Yeah. You don't get credit. You just sit there. Yeah. And it was. She says it was okay. It was splendiferous. It was, she was on fire. So you got to find the happy medium in there because we're she, both wrong. She was, she was sassy when she needed to be. Mm. She was the, the, the hero, the anti-hero that we needed. Uh, I, I thought it was okay. great. No, but seriously, I thought it was really good. Uh, I, I, I was, I don't know why I was surprised, but I was kind of surprised. What's the number one thing that you walked away like learning from her TED talk? Um, well, you guys already know I, I kind of know a lot about cosplay. Like, I'm really a fan. <laughs> I follow many cosplayers on sure Instagram. You do. For research purposes. Yeah, exactly. For that purpose of research. Well, there you I, go. Mean, I mean, I'm exposed to the community, though. You, um, you exposed to the community? Yeah, <laughs> okay, just checking. No, no. go ahead. Just keep going. Just keep yeah, it. However, roll, roll through it. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, like, I didn't learn anything new, but I'm, like, coming into it thinking, like, this is what people need to hear. She's telling them what they need to hear because she kind of broke into the like really focused today on. Uh, see, I'm gonna give my interpretation of what Please, I learned. By all means, let's uh, see how much you paid attention. <laughs> it was <laughs> like today's was mainly just about like not judging other cosplayers. Like here's all the different types, and it's all for fun. Nobody's better than anybody else. Whether you've been doing it for a billion years or you just bought it, you know, at a Walmart. We're all good, and we're all doing it because it's the love of the the cosplay. And I thought that was that actually is great because that's probably one of the number one things I wanted people to take away from this is that all forms are valid, whether you bought it or pulled it out of your closet or made it from scratch. Yeah, nobody's better than anybody else. And there was a wide group. Like some people had like never made costumes, and another dude's been like doing it for two years, and he was just you know wanted to meet new people. So I, if you're in Sacramento area and you missed this one, shame on you. But, uh, but also it's okay. But it's okay. And she's doing it every month. Uh, every Saturday. Uh, yeah. Every Saturday. Every fourth Saturday of the month. The say. last Saturday of every month. For the most part, there's probably one or two that we're going to have to move around for conventions uh, that I'll be at. But uh, yeah. So next one is going to be on props and foam. Yeah. 
And Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Stay for the comics, come for the coffee. It's a great venue. So, hang on. So, when you say types, is that what you mean? Like, you're talking about, like, whether they've made their cosplay or whether Yeah, so, I, I mean, I won't go into it too much, but we did break it you down. you got to go on Saturday to get the full. You, 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 you got to watch the TED Talk. To um, But I kind of, I wanted to start and make sure that everybody's going off, like, the same base knowledge. Because we're going to get more specific in the rest of these classes, but I wanted to make sure we all had the same, at least, base level that we were working off of. Um, so I usually break cosplay down into four genres, which is closet or casual cosplays, purchased cosplays, things that you make yourself, and then going the extra mile and doing full scale screen accurate replicas. Uh, yeah. One go. crazy thing that happened too, and I just got to shout this out because it was truly strange. Uh, she was giving her, her speech and it came up. Uh, I asked the question just because I was like, so where would be some other places like a local person could go and be part of a community online? And she started going through some of the various Facebook groups. And she was like, yeah, there's one called Sack Anime People. And no joke, a guy came around the corner and, like, interrupted her class. It was like, hey, I, I made that. What I, I made that group. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just like, happened to be walking yeah. by. And he was like, I heard the name of my group and thought I'd see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. And he stuck around. And, you know, uh, he's going to be promoting it on their Facebook group now, like, Dang, to come check this awesome. thing out. So, yeah, it's just crazy how the universe works. He wasn't even – he was there to meet, like, a girl, like – he was there for a different reason. He was there for a Tinder date. Yeah, he was there for a Tinder date. Good and Lord. Just, Instead, that's... he swiped right on Emma's Ooh. picture. No. Ooh. Is that wrong? Is that right? Let's is right good? Move on from that. So, all in all, it was a good first experience. It was a good class. It was, uh, and uh, there will be plenty more. So, if you yeah. want to come down every fourth Saturday of the month at 2 p.m. at Oblivion Comics and Coffee. I always promote it on uh, Twitter and Twitch and Oblivion promotes it. And it's, yeah. it's a whole thing. Yeah. Speaking of Oblivion Comics and Coffee, they are one of our many sponsors. We want to thank them for everything. Also sponsored by Vast GG for all of your esports and marketing needs. Uh, Mainframe USA, repping the t-shirt and the hat. Uh, most comfortable clothing in the world. Don't at me. And Energy Esports. Um, I learned something today. That's wow. not cosplay related. So um, I had <laughs> to work. not important. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So I might be a little bit behind on on this, but I finally watched the two documentaries uh, around the fire Festival today. Oh, there you go. Those you are remember? trending so hard right now. They so are. What I haven't happened? watched either one of them. Okay. So you haven't? No. So there's a Netflix I just one? watched it go down when it happened. You, so you remember it? Yeah. I don't remember We this. talked about it on the show. Did we? we like, that was vaguely. It was before Emma. It was vaguely. We vaguely talked about it. It was more in a humorous sense. Of course, we were making fun of like a tragedy and people like being no, fearful for their lives. Not even that because I didn't even know any of that. I don't think any of that had really come out. All we knew was like there was this festival and I think we knew it as like Ja Rule was doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and so like we were, I'm sure we made Fast and Furious jokes or something like that. The way you walk, the way you, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it was supposed to be the super like luxurious elitist music festival that was happening in the Bahamas on this private island and it was like Ja Rule was supposed to be like w w what we thought was it and then we found out like later on like it was like like totally failed it was horrible like they got there and no nothing was what they promised so any of the documentaries i won't go into too much of it because emma wants to see it but there's two of them there's one on netflix that's done by netflix and then there's one on hulu, hulu. and i watched the netflix one first and then i watched the hulu one the hulu one i kind of like because it actually has so it turns out it's actually it wasn't ja rule he was like the co-founder. It was actually this guy named Billy, and I can't remember his last name, but they actually interview him in the Hulu one. Um, really? So it's, kind of, it's interesting to see his reaction to things. So you're and saying we got to see both. You got to see both because okay. they both cover different things, and they both kind of focus on more of one than the other. But um, it's fascinating, like, what he did, and this wasn't even his first, like – S debacle yeah scam scam yeah yeah um and so it's really interesting seeing like kind of how he started where he went and then what he was doing to like fund scam after scam after scam yeah that's the stuff i wanted to know more about i feel like in the one i watched they were really really precise on the events that happened from like the attendee perspective and then the netflix like, one yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. the hulu then one towards the, the end they're like and then it all turned to shit you know goodbye right 
But they're, they kind of skipped out on some of the details I would like to know. The the Hulu one goes way more into his history, his like like background. And I have to say, okay, I'm not defending him in any way. Wait, but it did. sounds like you're uh, about uh, to no, defend no, no, no. him. It sounds well, like I'm you're about racist. to. <laughs> I'm not racist. 100% what he did was terrible. I mean, he left people like on the line for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Committed fraud. Like it was – but his hustle is kind of crazy. So, wow. So you can't knock the hustle. Well, uh, now he can hustle in prison. Yeah. yeah. He exactly. is. He is. He is hustling in prison. I promise you he is. He's teaching – uh, he's doing a music production class in prison to the fellow inmates. All right. It's uh, I highly recommend uh, going and watching them because it's it's yeah, it, it, and you actually kind of get a better sense of how how tragic it was. We're all over here like okay, well, stupid like rich kids, but I saw like, a uh, I think my favorite thing to come out of this is I saw a tweet of somebody that was like my favorite part of the docs is this one kid and there was like one guy there that wasn't a rich kid like he had won some sort of sweepstakes <laughs> or contest to be there and he was like some middle class dude and he was just happy to be there and he's like it is i'm having the time of my life watching all these rich people get their asses handed to them <laughs> <laughs> he's like my middle class ass is loving this there you <laughs> this go. is awesome that's actually pretty sick i'm in the yeah. bahamas i'm like i want to watch the docs just for that kid you know history is only like what people say about it right right and so if you have the most the group of the most privileged over like you know fancy pants people in one spot of course it's going to be hell Oh yeah. Then to a normal guy just chilling there, he's like, "Yeah, this is a Tuesday in my neighborhood." Yeah. Jeez, I went hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now it's got two Netflix shows and a fucking Hulu. It's like special we don't get and... meat sandwiches until Friday. This is great. <laughs> Over a bunch. Yeah, this whole thing is that's what this whole thing is. This whole fire re- re- revival. Yeah. It's two series that probably cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a documentary about that one time all these rich people couldn't have food for. <laughs> Well, it got hours. like not to give away because I know, like you said, Emma wants to see it, but they went, they did like some stupid shit when they were out there in order for them to just maintain some type of sanity, like raiding, you know, some of the freighters that would come through they, with yeah, other they, people's they had all these luggage. And yeah, that was one of the things. And they stealing had... shit in other people's tents, like going in there and taking shit out. The, oh, yeah, well, like these the rich fight. kids were like, oh, there's too many tents and I don't want any neighbors. So he started like ripping holes in yes. all the ones around his. That's what caused like the giant shortage is this rich people being like, I need a little more space. It's it's, it's not insane. like it was out of survival or instinct or, you know, like a, a, a mob mentality. It was just some rich kids who wanted to be privileged. Yeah. Mm, true. Boggles my mind. All right, everybody. Today is Saturday. We're going to do something a little bit different. And uh, this is going to be for subsequent Saturdays. Is subsequent? that right? Subsequent? No. subsequent? Is, that, is that really how I you want to? Subsequent? Yeah, maybe it's the chair. Because like I, I'm picking up on this stuff. Here's over the thing. Here. Here's the thing. As I said that, I knew it was wrong, and I was literally about to say Emma. Subsequent. Fuck. Was that right? But it was not. No. What, what, what was I trying to say? Subsequent. 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 Yeah. That's literally what we said right after. Subsequent. You said it. Yep. That's okay. Subsequent. Saturday. So what's the I, game dark, we're playing, me, Mr. So. Host? So the game we're playing is we might Jeopardy. Want to get rid of that YouTube thing too, by the way. <laughs> I was hiding. I was hiding it. So we we're playing. Jeopardy, and we played Jeopardy on this game on the show before. Surprised you didn't say Jeopardy. And it's uh, is there theme songs or sound effects? What's going on? Oh, there will be. Okay, oh, there will be. Here. Okay. Not everything needs a theme song. Not, Here. Not- hey! Here we go. We got music. Hey, we did it. That's not for- a song, wait. But okay. Wait. Where, where's the lyrics? You made, uh, you made oh, a- oh, oh! You mean oh, like God. a like a like one of your theme songs? You made a theme song without lyrics? Okay, I, I don't get the concept. It's uh, it's a bold new concept. That that's gonna be uh, oh, not being terrible. hitting the nation. So this is wow. what you're looking for in a theme song. No, even less than this. Even less. Even less than it's this. It's almost like we could just go to another segment without without a song. So yeah, well, that's that's, that's blast. This is you. uh. All right, are you guys done? You guys get? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. All right, so we're playing Geek Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. We played this on the show before, uh, but I, I'm gonna introduce some rules. This Rules. time around. Oh, I'm not. I don't know if I can handle this because it gets a little chaotic. I was gonna say. Uh, so rule number one, you buzz in by saying your name. Okay. So do you guys want to practice that really quick? Of course. Betty. Corey. Emma. Okay. Well, Emma's gonna lose. Uh, <laughs> rule number two is you have to wait until I'm done answering the question. 
before okay, you buzz in. Well, that's Jeopardy. That's that's standard no. Jeopardy. It is. Yeah, it is. No, well, you can't buzz in before. Like you can hit the buzzer, but the buzzers aren't active until Alex true. Trebek is done. Yeah, the that's are, why you always see one. These are standard. It's my favorite thing to watch people do. <laughs> I'm I'm sure that is. I'm sure that motion is your favorite thing to watch people do. What What was wrong with? Wow. Oh, wow. These are standard oh. Jeopardy rules, but they're not standard for <laughs> Jeopardy on this show. So I'm just laying them out. Rule number three is if it's a tie between two people people buzzing in, we go to the Hunger Game rules. Wait, oh. what? And you fight to the death. <laughs> All right. Let me go to the car, get my knife. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Option B is it's rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I got a so wallet ninja. <laughs> we'll see how the room feels when you come to that. All right. Um, all right. Oh, rule number four, answer yep. in the form of a question. Okay. If you find yourself saying, for example, uh, Voldemort. No, what is, who is Voldemort? You're allowed to do that because they do that in Jeopardy. Really? They do. I okay. sent him a video specifically of that and I was like, see, they do this. I love that. Like, I love Jeopardy. <laughs> I love Jeopardy. I DVR Jeopardy, so I never miss an episode. So just some background for for the VGB uh, fans who like that behind the look of the curtain thing. We were like planning like Saturday, let's let's do some games, let's bring them back. And someone brought up Jeopardy, and it was like, but you better follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I should have known that she was watchdogging you when you come up with this. No, 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 no. These are all these are my own rules that I came up with because. Uh, being a player of Jeopardy, these are all things that, that have wish- pissed me the <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> okay. So, quick note, right. I've actually made it to the second round for College Jeopardy. Hey! I didn't actually make it to the show, but I got to the second round. You do the online test, and then you do the audited test mm-hmm. in a, like, it's like in a classroom setting, or in like a large setting where there's like 100 yeah. other people. And uh, I didn't make it past the second round, but... So I took the teen test and then, you know, I just never heard anything back from it. But then I always decided I was like, I'm not smart enough to be with these people. So I never tried again. <laughs> David, 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 well, David. We put you in great. Yeah, David. Let's yes. do this thing. All right. Uh, we're going to start with Eddie. Yo. Since he is the guest. Uh, categories are DC one. <laughs> DC Ooh. comics. Okay. DC two. Also DC comics. Video games. Lord of the Rings. Marvel one. Marvel Comics, Marvel 2, Marvel Comics. Who am I? This is where I show you a picture, and you guess who it is. <laughs> Thank you for explaining. Wow. That. You're welcome. I still want, Not all the questions are David. I just want okay. them to be, you know, to be clear. Uh, and then the last one is a random grab bag of all geek right. culture. So I feel like we should uh, start off by saying that this you didn't Jeopardy, make this. This game of Jeopardy is brought to you by JeopardyLabs.com. Oh, wow. So this is an app? Okay. Just so when things go horribly wrong, we have yes. a disclaimer. What can it's we? It's because Webb didn't so, make this. This seems like a lot of questions. <laughs> it does seem it like does a lot of questions. Like... Um, so that's, I that's all, yeah. skimmed the the questions. Oh, he skimmed it. I, We're I okay. fine. He skimmed it. We're right. fine. I, um, I think I trust a skim. Uh, so yeah, trust a skim. Yeah. All right. Skim all right. milk. Let's do well, it. I'm gonna hold uh, on to that sweet, sweet three letter let's, phrase um, or three word phrase. Let's start out with uh, Lord of the Rings for a hundred. Lord of the Rings for a hundred. All right. Where is Frodo from? Emma. Hey, Corey. Oh, Emma's first. What is the Shire? The Shire. Damn, I was going to say Lord of the Rings. Emma on the board for 100. Emma, you have the board. Can I see the board? Uh, DC 1. DC for 1 for 100. Which Robin is killed by the Joker? Eddie. Emma. Aww. Oh, Damn. Eddie first. Who is Jason Todd? And the answer is... Jason Todd. Wow, good job, Eddie. Mm-hmm. Proud of you. Thank you. Eddie's on the board for 100. Eddie, you have the con. Let's go Lord of the Rings for three. Lord of the Rings for 300. Who convinces Bilbo to leave the ring before he leaves? Eddie. I think I was quite done with the, the question there. Eddie. No one else has said anything. So. <laughs> yeah, we can get Eddie? it. To I yeah. <laughs> Who is Gandalf? The question is, indeed, Gandalf. Wow, bravo. Nope. Yeah. Whoa, just press nope. it once. Just press it once. Yeah. There you go. Yep. I thought it was uh, pressing it for one hundred. So Eddie's each. got four hundred points. Emma's at one hundred. I got Zippo. Jeez. Yeah, Let's Eddie. You have the con. Let's go to random for a hundred. Random for a hundred. Don't know what this is. Is Jacob Black? A vampire or a werewolf? Corey. Ooh, Corey. Can Corey get on the board? Uh, 
What is a werewolf? Hey. Nope, he's a puppy. That's a stupid answer, but yeah, it, Corey's right. So we'll give Corey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to my teenage obsession with Twilight. All right, Corey. You had one of those? Uh, yeah, I did. It was oh, a dark no. time in my life. Team Jacob or team? Uh, I didn't really care either way. It was Jacob. <laughs> what do you mean? Why, wait, why did you read it if you didn't care? That's like I, the whole I thing. I enjoyed the literature. <laughs> she liked You know the what? Literature. Here's the thing. I've gotten past the point where like I was embarrassed about it for a long time, and I've moved past that, and I'm just like, you know what? It made me happy, and I'm not ashamed of that. Yeah, that's you 100%. You All know, right, girl. Corey, where are we going next? Oh, I get to choose. You, do. you get to choose. You have the con. Oh, hell yeah. What, is that? what are you saying? Some Star Trek, whenever the captain would leave the deck, he would say, Ensign, you have the con. I like it. I'm keeping in theme with Geek. I'll support it. Uh, Is he saying con or comms? Con. con. Control. Like you okay. have the control. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, I'm was... still stuck on the fact that you called it Star Trek. Track? Yeah. Star Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> hey, it's uh, all you track, forward, you track through space. <laughs> you on your track trek. through space. You okay. track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with um, uh, random for 300. Random for 300. What district does Katniss Everdeen live yeah. in? Eddie. Ooh, I heard Emma first. What is District 12? She was 12? talking what's so... Okay, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> I, heard, I, like, I heard Emma first, too. <laughs> no, but... District she... 12? District 12. Oh. So, this is where we ran into issues when we used Jeopardy Labs last time, is that if one of us gives an answer and there's an argument on whether or not it's right or wrong, he can't tell without showing all of us, and then the other person doesn't get there's a no chance. There's no way to preview it. There's no way to preview it without showing all of us. For, for, so this it, will become a problem. It's not it, yet, but it will. If it comes to that, I'll just Google the question. Okay. And, all right. And we'll, we'll go from there. Emma, you have the con. Uh, DC one. Just say two. you have the board. No, just say you have it's the board. Geek Jeopardy, Eddie. He's committed. We're on theme. Let him do uh, it. He is committed. I, I can tell. I'm sorry, Emma. You were rudely interrupted. And DC one for two. DC one for two hundred. Who was the original Flash? Emma. Eddie. Emma. Who is Barry Allen? Oh. Mm. Yes. Found the answer? Yeah. I knew that was wrong. I knew oh. it as soon as I said it. I knew it as soon as I said it. That's why I was, but I couldn't remember his fucking name. Don't forget to I know you got to deduct numbers. those points. Yeah. You got to deduct them. Oh, we're deducting now? Oh, we're yes. deducting. That was a 300. Oh, wow. Way. Because I'm here. We're playing real Jeopardy. That was no, a three. Was, except was this a is not real Jeopardy because there's no double Jeopardy around, but whatever. Oh, two. Well, Okay. Wow. All right. I knew it as soon as I said it because I remembered. I was like, wait a minute. There's so the old guy in the last show. place person gets so, the board. Yeah, technically. I mean, con. So whoever. Uh, it's my con. Okay. <laughs> no, I think it sticks with Te me because well, I. Yeah, because technically that. it didn't go to anybody yeah, else. I so because that. she. Emma, you uh, have to con. Lord of the Rings for two. Lord of the Rings for two hundred. Where is the Eye of Sauron located? Eddie. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Eddie. Mordor. Where is Mordor? Dang, you guys are so there good at this thing. Why am I so bad? Because you're a fake nerd. I guess oh. so. Uh, Damn, Eddie, you know, you <laughs> Let's go to Marvel 2 for 100. Marvel 2 for 100. Hulk's love interest in the comics in the original movies. Eddie. Eddie. Who is Betty Ross? How dare you? It's Liv Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Ross. Show me Betty Ross. Damn. It's Liv Tyler. <laughs> Did you get my points? You did. Yeah, yeah, I, I could did. stay I just awake I didn't see. <laughs> just to hear her breathing. That would, be, that would have been really interesting to have that song in that Hulk movie. That came out. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, have, no. You, you have Hulk playing with animal crackers on her stomach. <laughs> oh, God. It, like, goes through her stomach and, Hulk, sorry. Oh, dear God. Let's, let's go to... Uh, let's go to DC. No, let's go to video games for 200. Video games for 200. Video game podcast. Oh, this is the first in, time we've come to it. You guys are in for it now. You guys ready? Yep. What is the name of the assassin in Assassin's Creed 3? Do we need the full name or is a first name okay? I'll give you the first name. Emma. Okay. Who Emma? is Connor? Oh, cool. It only has a first name anyway. <laughs> hey. uh, I have no fucking clue what his last I name is. I picked that because it's a video game podcast, so we need to have a video game. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. I got yeah. it. I was willing to sacrifice. Let's take uh, one for the team. I'll take video games for one. Shit. Video games for Let's 100. We got to space it out, though. Who was the character that took over Arkham in Batman Arkham Asylum? Corey. Mm. Oh, that was clearly Corey. Yes. Because he was louder. The joke. Who is the Joker? 
If you would have gotten yeah, that wrong, he's I a would've. joker. He's a smoker. He's a midnight toker. Video games for 300. You don't want to space this out? We got one video game category for the whole <laughs> hour. And I know this is, I know this is all I'm going to get right. So I, right, I, hey, I, I got to go for it. Stick to your strengths. Yeah. In Fallout 4, what is the main character referred to as? Corey. Ooh, Corey. Who is the survivor? Nah, I'll give it to him. Mm. Yeah! Ah! You're a bad Trebek. Dang, Trebek I'm ashamed of you. You're, I, just a, you're just a salty contestant. I've been working For those on... of you that are listening, the answer is the sole survivor. The sole survivor. You're um, all survivors. I mean, es- essentially. I mean, I didn't see you guys jumping, chomping at the bit to take a shot at this one. So I think, I think his, I think he's a great Trebek. You're Trebek. I think wow. if it was more tightly contested, he probably wouldn't have gave. I don't know. I, uh, I'm just I'm just trying to see the good in people. Seeing today. as this guy is the, o- the only one answering in this yeah. category, uh, I, I, yeah. don't forget to give him his points. Oh, That's give me my true. points, yeah. please. There you go. Hey, I'm back in this. In I this uh, race. I tried I tried to grow my mustache all day today, and this is the best I've gotten to. So don't 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 judge my Trebekness. O- outside of the Alex that. Trebek conversation, that was a really weird input. Yeah, chat, but, says, yeah. Uh, chat says those are pity points. Little, little, it's, Come it's on, good, chat. There you go. All right, let's go. She, she's bitter because uh, she's down last place. So Eddie's Corey, 700, I got 500, Emma's at 400. It's so anybody's I'm, game. I'm doing pretty good here. Yeah, I'm we gonna, still have like 14,000 points on the board. So <laughs> I'm going to try with my little eye, Marvel 1 for 100. Marvel 1 for 100. The current Captain Marvel's secret identity. Emma. Emma. Who is Kamala Khan? Oh, nope. fuck. Oh, oh, is she Miss Marvel? Marvel. Yeah. Damn it. You got caught up in the Damn semantics. Yep. Take that L. I was so ready. I was so ready. I like, I think it's because you, you, you had the more difficult answer and you got excited. Damn. Yeah. Uh, right. Back to Emma. Back to Emma. Uh, no, back to Corey. Back oh, to me. Back to Corey. Okay. Oh, hey, that's we're going to go Marvel 1 for 200. Marvel 1 for 200. Who is the All-Father? Corey. Yeah. Mm. Who is Odin? I mean, he didn't say you could answer. Oh. Corey. I mean, is that a rule? No. Corey. Odin. Yes! There you go. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hype. <laughs> Where are we going, Corey? You'd be the most disgraceful actual Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suck it, Karen! Snap! <laughs> What, are you, you, what do you be, got, be, Jeff? What do you got? I'll Spanish be, Inquisition, what, bitch? I'll be supporting them, too. That's a good answer, Billy. Good job, This isn't dude. Family Feud. This isn't hey, Family good Feud. Game, good game. Good game. Good game. Let's do... Uh, <laughs> man, I'm starting to feel myself. Let's go Marvel Thanks. 1 Please for... Please don't. <laughs> Other people in the room, Corey. <laughs> Marvel 1 for... Let's do 500. Oh, Ooh. big bucks. Yeah. So, So, if you win this, you're in the lead. If you lose this, you drop to last place. I'm with it. Stakes are on the board. I'm with it. What is the name of the group of villains who work for Thanos? Emma. Eddie. Ooh, Emma. Who are the children of Thanos? Uh, My. No. Oh! Wait, wait. If he you has can, this, th- Hang on. Hang uh, on. Hold on. Yep. Son yep. of a the bitch. Black order. Take yep. Emma down to negative town. Son of a bitch. She's at negative 200. Yeah. This little genius was almost on Teen Jeopardy. Oh, uh, because Children of Thanos <laughs> is the, were like the victims. They're the victims, and they're the everybody who son of a bitch. Is God, watch your movie, Emma. Well, no, the Black Order actually. <laughs> so the Black Order no, is, is only referenced in the comics. They're not called the Black Order in yeah. the movies. No, they're not. But yeah. I knew there was a name that was specific to the group. All right. Corey, still you. <laughs> I'm going Lord of the Rings 400, baby. How did he get to 700? I've been knocking okay, it out. No, no, no. Cool. You yeah. got that Marvel. You got that 500. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Nobody got that. No, he's he's right, though. He's yeah. at the, I've been we'll keeping okay, an eye cool, on cool. it. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is. No trust. What was it? Lord, Lord of the, the Rings for 400. 400. Yeah. Okay. Who comes to help Ar- Ar- Aragorn? I'm I'm super subconscious. Oh, my God. Finish the question. Things. Finish <laughs> the question. Who comes to help Aragorn rescue Frodo after he has been stabbed by the Nazgul? Emma. Eddie. Uh, uh, I heard mm, Emma. I heard I heard Emma slightly more. Who is Arwen? <laughs> Woo! She got it. Hey. Got her back on the plus side. I didn't know you actually knew. St- is, are these easy <laughs> Lord of the Rings questions? Yeah. Because that was really very, hard. I had no very. clue. These are all based on the movies. Yeah. Wow. Uh, back to Emma. Uh, it's to you. No, it's not. It's me. Oh, it's Emma. Emma. You are the worst, Trebek. <laughs> 
Emma, pick your category. Uh, random for two. Deduct points. Tell me who's the worst Trebek. Who is Mario's brother? Eddie. Corey. Oh. oh, that was Eddie. Luigi. Who is Luigi? There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I knew it was right, but for some reason, I really was hoping it was going to be wrong. <laughs> it's like, oh, gotcha. Like some obscure. Ah, gotcha. Some obscure. Mandela brother effect. from yes. another marriage. It's, it's, it's the, the full name, Luigiano. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. All right, let's go Lord of the Rings for six. Ooh. Lord of the Rings for six. Two characters were played by one person in the trilogy. What two characters were played by the same person? Oh, Why would you just... Shit. Um, oh, I can guess who the actor would have uh, been, but I don't know what two characters it would have been. Uh, this is way Eddie. beyond my... Eddie? Time the only thing I can say is who is Ian McKellen? No, characters, not actor. Yeah, oh, that's who is the character. Uh, who yeah. is Ian McKellen, the character from Lord well, of the Rings? Well, because it says played by one person. What two characters? Oh, what two characters? Yeah. Who, who is person? Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White? That's actually really smart. I bet oh. that's it. Oh. Click the button, Webber. We'll find out after this commercial. Click right? the button. <laughs> oh. oh. Take them points. Gimli. Take them points back down to zero. It was Gr Gimli and Treebeard. <laughs> you know what? I thought it was going to be Andy Serkis. I thought it was going to be Gollum and somebody else because he's just. Yeah, because he's He could be fucking anybody and you would yeah. never know. He could be Andy right now. How are we supposed to know that? Oh, whatever. That's why it's the that's why it's Jeopardy. That's why it's like the 600 question. <laughs> See, that's why I'm not worried because Trebek! Jeopardy is How am I all to know that? Up, and down, <laughs> up and down. Still your board. Oh, let's, have do, the let's do Marvel for 600. Marvel for Dang. Which one? Marvel 1 for 600. Marvel 1 for 600. What job did Mysterio have before becoming a major supervillain? Ellie. Eddie. Sorry. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Who's Ellie? What's your, what's your name? Wait, did he say Ellie? I said Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> did we just... Uh, were you Ellie the whole time? I have no idea. It's the what... easiest thing, but go ahead. Eddie has an announcement on the podcast tonight, <laughs> yeah. everybody. Who is a movie special effects person? <laughs> Who is a movie special effects person? He did special effects for movies. He was wow! Oh my god! Go. Pretty much there exactly to a T. <laughs> he was a special effects designer and stuntman for Hollywood. I was yeah. like, he's, I get his employer was Hollywood. Hollywood was his employer. I like yeah. that. That's yeah, very specific. For Hollywood. I, I was gonna say magician. I, I don't know why. Nah. I he was a street. He was a street magician. Hey. He busted. And a tub of give his points. Give his points. I see terrible. I lost. His tub of acid fell over. Okay. All right. You have the con. Let's go to Rando for 400. Rando for 400. What is the name of the blind earthbender who travels with Aang in Avatar, the last airbender? Emma. Ooh, Emma. Oh, she got who in is the microphone. Tough? Whoa! Emma You're going to have that the, one. I Avatar. love her. I love her. She's amazing. Wait, was that your generation? Yes. Okay. So with that, Emma has now tied with Eddie. Eddie and Emma both have 600, and somehow Corey has come out <laughs> hey, in the lead. I'm coming you out. You know why? Because he can't get in. He can't get in fast enough to get an answer wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, also, shit. because every single video game. game question has been his. So yeah. Would... If you look at all the video game questions that are gone, that amounts to 600. So that's actually very true. See, one. Uh, <laughs> I will take uh, Lord of the Rings for five. Let's finish up the category. Lord of the Rings for 500. Finishing up the category. What are the dragon-like creatures called that the ring wraiths ride? Emma? Emma. What is a Nazgul? <laughs> Never oh. mind. Oh. Oh. Nazgul were the ones who were riding them. So ring wraiths and Nazgul is just, oh, the yeah. The individual. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. You knew that one, Eddie? No, guy. I knew what it wasn't. That's all yeah. I knew. Uh, That's all it was. That's, that's Eddie's that specialty. That seems to be all Eddie knows. I know, I know what it's not. I can't I tell, tell you what it is, but I can tell you that, that is wrong. That's about it. I've only he done that twice. in process of elimination. <laughs> in like hell 10 yeah. minutes. Shoot. If if uh, Sherlock Holmes can do make a living out of that, uh, sure as hell I can. Well, let's not talk about that hey, franchise right, is now all right. dead. <laughs> Thanks to uh, With that, Emma has now dropped to 100 points. Yeah, it happens. It should happen. Random for five. Random for 500. What was the last movie Walt Ooh. Disney ever worked on? Eddie. Eddie from the Filmosophers. Pressure's on. Yeah, you better know what this. What was 
Take your podcast credentials. What was Mary Poppins? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go for it. I, I don't know. I don't want to risk it? it. No. Space it. Yeah. Jungle Book. Oh, oh, see, wow. that was not what I was going to go with. That's the one I Googled. Hmm. There you go. Don't forget Take his points. points. Take, Take his, his points. points. I'm taking his points. <laughs> I'm just gonna not lose. I think that's that's Damn. become my strategy. Corey. I'm gonna take. He's gonna Ed- sit at 700 and watch Eddie and I kill each other. I'm gonna go all in on Eddie's strategy, and I'm just not gonna say anything. I, I just know what it's not. Uh, DC two for 100. <laughs> DC two for 100. What allows Raz al Ghul to live so long and help him come back from the dead? Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. What are the Lazarus pits? I mean, to be fair, he only uses one. <laughs> he did there it. are multiple. He only uses one, so it really is the singular Lazarus. True, but there pit. are still saying, multiple. Like, I mean, if, if you, you go according be, to the Arkham you Asylum like, storyline, like, there about is it. He just a Lazarus uses pit the one. under there's, Arkham there's, City there's as well. There are multiples. You guys realize I'm still that, beating cause. both of you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Once that video game category goes out, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got about fifteen hundred points left to claim, Corey. <laughs> Let's do Marvel one for three. Marvel one for three hundred. How did Jessica Jones obtain her powers? Emma? I watched the series and I don't know. I'm I'm hoping the series is <laughs> canon. Emma, what is via medical experimentation? What, what's and the, the question? Space is guard. and the answer is cracks in with her family while illegally transporting toxic waste, and she's the only one who survived. Yep. You guys are both So wrong. the show done fucked me over. Yep. The show done fucked me over. So a Emma. A car accident with her family while illegally transporting tar- toxic waste. So hang on. All right. Hang on. So we're... her family was transporting toxic waste. So here's here's where I'm thinking because on, on the very. It also did not specify comics or show. I'm just going to put that out there. On the Good very point. reputable source, Wikipedia. It says powers and abilities after becoming after coming into contact with experimental chemicals and spending some time in a coma, Jessica emerged with superhuman abilities. Yeah. So, I'm just going to point out it didn't ask comics or show. All right, next one. I'm just going <laughs> to put that out there. So we're defaulting to the comics always. All right, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. So yeah, who was I would last? think so. You? Uh, it was uh, you. Was it me? It was you. Let's uh, close out Marvel 1 with 400. Marvel 1 with 400. Bullseye's secret identity. Oh, uh, Emma. Emma. Who is um, Poindexter? His, his, you know, who is Poindexter? It's his last name. Benjamin yeah. Poindexter. You got it. Oh. Wait, that was a big boy question too, right? Yeah, four hundred. Season three. She's of back in the. She's back in the green. <laughs> she's back in the green. Yeah. I almost called him Dex because that's what they call him in yeah. the show. I was like Dex Poindexter. That's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Eddie and Emma both uh, sitting at a uh, little uh, modest two hundred, while your boy is at seven hundred. We making a rain up in here. Uh, DC one for three. Can you try and answer this one, Corey? Maybe. No, you probably, probably will. DC one for 300. In DC Rebirth number one, Wally West is rescued from the Speed Force. Who remembers Wally and saves him? Eddie. Eddie. Who is Barry Allen? <coughs> Damn, Damn. Barry Allen is correct. Sure, flexing on us, dude. For 300. <laughs> I, I actually was a fan of the Rebirth. I love the Rebirth. Yeah. Uh, Eddie's sitting at 500, Corey at 700, and Emma trailing at a modest 200. Mm. That's fine. That's Let's fine. That's do... how these games go. <laughs> she's the most... <laughs> she's hyper competitive. Hyper competitive. She wants to win. Like, chill person. Yeah. Let's go DC 2 for 200. DC 2 for 200. Who is the fastest Flash? Emma. Emma. Who is Wally West? She got it. Faster than Barry Allen. Mm-hmm. How? So that's just canon? There's one that's yeah. faster than all the other ones? Yeah. Because no. Wally West, like, Barry Allen, it's like the way that they use the Speed Force. Like, he pulls yeah. from the Speed Force, but, like, Wally West, like, is the yeah, fucking Speed Force. Uh, yeah, because Wally West, there's a whole storyline where he actually becomes the Speed Force. Damn. And operates yeah. as such. So the Speed Force is more like, uh, like Star Wars, the Force. Like, if you watch, uh, I don't know if you watch My Hero. Okay. Sure. He's like... There's all for one who draws from it, and then there's somebody who actually is the power. Oh, tower. that's kind of sick, actually. So, that's really cool. Next one. Come next on, one. Chicken. You know what? Video games for four. Video yeah. Games for yeah. Game. Game. What year was Out Bloodborne <laughs> released? I. Oh fuck. Sorry, please. I have it down to two, but I'm not too comfortable. <laughs> Wait, what? Corey. Every person. Corey. Yeah, what is 2006? Oh, no. 
Space. That's absolutely Space. not right. Oh, yes! whoa. I was Mother like, I get to race down. It. That's actually good because I was going to say 2016, so I'm glad you didn't let me do that. There we go. Damn, that brings Corey. <laughs> Why did I think two th I know one of them came out 20 2006. Maybe Dark 26. Souls 3? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Corey drops from a triumphant 700 to a measly 300. <laughs> I'll be back. But you're back in last place. <laughs> I'll and be he's back. Now at 500, Corey at 300, and Emma is catching quickly up. That she is. See, that's why I want to do that because I knew he was going to fuck himself over. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Don't mind game me. <laughs> uh, Marvel 2 for 200. Marvel 2 for 200. Get out of my brain. Who is Kitty Bride married to? Eddie. Mm. Eddie. Um, who is Colossus? Colossus, there, there go. we go. Well, and it it's is. interesting because that actually fluctuates depending on how you go about like the more recent one yes he was married to Colossus but there was a time where he was she was also dating and I think she was going to get married to Iceman in the comics and also then... the love interest of Star-Lord oh yeah for yeah. a minute mm -hmm. I remember that that's what that's what popped up and I, I was like uh, uh, alright let's go okay. <clears throat> give me my point I give you your points alright uh, let's do Marvel 2 for 3 Marvel 2 for 3 it's a confusing way of phrasing it who is Beast? Eddie. Are you sure? Eddie? Okay. I'm trying not to be so loud. Uh, who is Hank Williams Jr.? At least I got one name. We got Poindexter. <laughs> one, so. No, right. last names in Jeopardy, last names are acceptable. But not first names. Right. Who is Hank Hill? Ah, shit. I should at least get half a point. No. Nope. <laughs> you know his name is Hank. He's already wrong. The answer is Fraser Crane. <laughs> <laughs> Doll salad and scrambled eggs. There's a time limit on this, by the I way. I know. Yeah, Can I go, Corey? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep, Corey. Hank McCoy. Who is Hank McCoy? There you go. There you go. So minus for Eddie, plus for Corey. Bam! Give me them points. There you go. All right. Look, I'm not just a one trick oh, pony. Oh, here's, here's Freddy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. make there you sure go. he gets that. All right. Uh, Corey, you have the board. I have the board. You're right. And I'm going to go straight to Video Game Town for 500. And Corey's back in the lead, too, everybody. Hey. He is. What is the name of Kratos's. Corey! Son? That, he was not done. He was not done. Damn it. Okay, Emma. I'll take my penalty. Emma. Who is Atreus? Show me Atreus! Haven't even played Damn that game it. yet! That's not even what I was gonna say. Ha <laughs> ha! I was gonna say boy. Wow. I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say boy, but I'm like, yeah, I don't wanna get into I was gonna minus. take the hit in points for the boy joke. Boy. <laughs> boy. Um, I have not even played that game. Emma you know, jumps. I only know that because I have seen screen caps with subtitles. Mm, and I'm... his subtitles, his name is Atreus. I uh, I risked it for the meme. But there you go. It's now just a dream. That's a, that's a man who that's is uh, the worst. Emma has now jumped to a commanding lead with 900. Corey is in second place with 600. And Eddie is at 400. Emma, you have the con. Let's go ahead and do random for six. Let's random for category. 600, wrapping up the category. What was Ooh. the first video game to ever have an Easter egg? I'm out. No, absolutely not. This is too risky. Eddie. If you get this. What I is swear. adventure? Oh, show me adventure. There oh! it is. Oh! Well deserved. Dang. Didn't even have to Google Heard it. That. Because it's in Ready Player One. <laughs> oh, you sons oh. of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> hey, knowledge is knowledge. I'm surprised he Good for you. came up in here. I'm a little less impressed by it now. I'm, but Yeah. Well, I played the game, too. I used <laughs> well, to have it on up, Atari. But what sure, you sure you did. Sure you did. I believe you. What would it, how, how would him, like, in what form of him knowing that would impress you? It's different. If, you, if it's just from the movie, it's different. It's not just How is it different? It'd be one thing if it was just so in the movie. So if he read it in a book, it would have been totally more impressive? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> really Whatever. Okay. So with that, Eddie jumps to a commanding lead. That's not, not really. That doesn't mean what you think it means. 1,000. I just like saying commanding lead. Uh, Eddie has 1,000 points. Emma's at 900. And Corey has somehow fell after taking the lead for so long. I'm holding strong. To 600. Let's do DC 2 for 3. DC 2 for 3. Which Green Lantern has been possessed by both Spectre and Parallax? I know who it probably is because he sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enough to risk <laughs> your no. precious points. 
Yeah, I think we're taking the L on this one. Yeah. Hit yeah, the absolutely. hit the wrong buzzer no just because I like hearing it. Oh, you even know what that's from, Emma? The answer is. Oh, yeah, I would have been right. That's what I was thinking of. Too. Right, because Hal Jordan I wasn't sure, fucking that, sucks. That's the only reason why. Shallow he's the worst. Hal Jordan. So we uh, we're in a unique situation to where I have to defer to our Jeopardy uh, expert, Emma. Uh, yes. How do we handle when nobody does anybody lose points? No, no. no. nothing okay. happens. All right, nothing happens. We go back to Eddie. Eddie, you have the con. Let's do DC one for four. DC one for four. Who is the original Blue Beetle? Oh, I don't know his last name. I only know his first name. Mm. You know what? I don't know the a original. A friend of mine has the same name as him, so all I can think is my buddy's name. You want to give him a shout out? No. So lose some points? I only know the new one. I don't know who the original is. I got no. I, I got I'm nothing. Not, I'm not even going to buzz in on this Absolutely one. Absolutely nothing. Sorry. All right. All right. I would have got it wrong anyway. I thought Ted, it was Jaime. Ted Cord. Of Cord Industries. <laughs> They were really scraping the bottom of the barrel with names when they came up with Ted Cord. Wow. Huh. And uh, Wikipedia is wrong because it says Dan Garrett. That's a better name. That's, That's a respectable one, name. Yeah. Dan I, is I just know Jaime. From God's power mm-hmm. some sacred scarab. Ted Cord. All right. All right. Moving on. Let's go DC 2 for 4. DC 2 for 4. Who is the current? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the current? Blue- you can't even write that. <laughs> I don't see you guys jumping in on it. You guys... No, because I don't know his last name. I only know his first name. I don't name. even know if he's still the current. I have no fucking clue. I'm not buzzing in on this shit. I don't know shit, shit right? about Blue yeah. Beetle. There you go. I just know from the young from the young Justice show. Blue Beetle's taking the L. Reyes. Jaime Reyes. Reyes. That's... that's also not how you spell Jaime. No. It's not Jamie. Let's go Marvel 2 for 4. Marvel 2 for 4. Yes, back to Marvel. Let's go. What were the original colors of Daredevil's costume? Eddie. Ed- mm. Yeah. Eddie. You got it. The original costume? The original costume. <laughs> Are we talking the... He, I think he jumped in he's over his no. head. Yeah, he's stalling. He's, Who is, he's what is drowning. Black? Emma. Emma? What is yellow and red? Let's see what it is. Killing the suspense. Uh-huh. And the answer is... Oh, brown, and yellow, yellow. brown and yellow, brown and brown yellow, brown and yellow. Brown and yellow? Ah, uh, you know what brown it is. That's some bullshit. Eddie loses points. And Emma loses Emma points. Emma loses That's points. That's some bullshit. Let me look at this original costume. I remember it being... Well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, go keep going. I just want to know what it looks like. Let's I'm go not, Marvel for to... five. Marvel for 500. What is the name of Hulk's son? Why the fuck would I know what, this? Well, oh, wow. and then that goes to, like, which run are you talking about? Like, right. Is that, he had kids and... The main run, then he had kids in Old Man Logan. We're going to see the main run. We're yeah, gonna I'm not going to. Okay, that's bullshit because that, that's the original costume. That's red and yellow. <laughs> that is red. That's not brown. I think we're taking an L on that what one. What is bullshit? Looks brown to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, you look at this bullshit. In I'm, what universe? Emma, Emma, I Emma. I the points for this. I'm color, look at this. I'm colorblind. I don't care. How rude. I don't even. You know what? Fuck, that, that is, is red it? and yellow. Go, go ahead. We're not working. No one's gonna get this. No. Okay, Sakar from oh, so w- w- oh, Scar. The... That's definitely. I just want yeah, the record to Sakaar. show that I'm fucking right. And that's whoever from wrote this the is an uh, idiot. Planet Hulk series. Yeah, he was born like out of that. He had the long hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was sick looking. I can't believe I forgot that. All right, let's do. Let's red. close this out with Marvel for six. I'm never Marvel gonna be two over for six hundred. I'm still stuck on this. We all know Emma. What major character in comics? Recently wore the war machine suit. Red and yellow. <laughs> um, I'm taking the L on no this one, guys. Clue. We're getting we're getting washed in these harder ones. Punisher. Well, that would be badass. Yeah. Now I want to read that. He's got all the fucking rockets and yeah. shit. And that, uh, that cannon. And he's like not gonna hit the nerf button. He's just gonna go fucking all in. Real quick, let's do DC one for five. DC one for five. Eddie has the con. Wonder Woman's first appearance in comics. Nope. Not mm-hmm. a goddamn clue. Don't even go about looking it up because we're not even getting yeah. it. You guys are. All Star okay. Comics number eight. Yeah, no, no, not getting that one. Yeah. All right. That was super easy. It's a little too in the weeds. DC two for five. DC two for five. Which DC character was banished Ooh. from both heaven and hell and made immortal so he could never return? Emma? Emma. Who is Constantine? Mm. Show me Constantine. Oh, fuck. Oh, low bum, 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 bum. Oh. I got my fucking points. I don't even care about anything anymore. Dang. I don't care about anything anymore. 
Damn, too bad you answered that because if Corey proves that you're, I'm sorry, if our professional researchers prove that you're right, you have won. Putting that in perspective for you. Uh, Emma, you have the, nope. Who has? Yeah, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie, you have the con. Uh, let's do DC 1 for 6. DC 1 for 600. Or these are going to be washes. What is Joker's first appearance in comics? Nope. Nope. Anyone wants to take a stab at it? Nope. Emma, you got nothing to lose. Mm. I, got, I got nothing. She might in a minute. I got nothing. All right. Batman number one in 1940. Detective The Thomas OG one. villain, everybody. Since the beginning. We're still recycling That's, the same yeah, character. Pretty much. Because we can't come All up right. with any good villains. Let's do DC 2 for 6. DC 2 for 6. What city does Billy Batson oh, live in? Shit. Ask me in three months when the movie comes out. No. Nope. Nope. Me neither. Fawcett yeah. City. Because I was going to know that one. That's where Fawcett's were invented. Fun fact. <laughs> All right, Video games for 600. No, not much of a choice. All the marbles. This is it? This is the this final is category? It. The final category. All right. You guys ready? I was born ready. In Mount and Blade, <laughs> what faction has the strongest knights? Oh, yeah. I played so much Mount and Blade back in the day. Uh, fond, fond memories of Mount and Blade. But I'm not going to risk my 600 points on it. I have no freaking clue. Right. I'm going. I want to go to Final Jeopardy. He I'm doesn't ready. have one. Before we get to Final Jeopardy, we need to give me my Swadia. damn points. Did uh, chat do some due diligence yet? I tweeted it. No, hang right. on. Hang on. Cause I'm gonna Are do, we doing uh, Final Jeopardy? I'm going to do Final Jeopardy. Uh, we have yeah. to. I'm going to have found to. one. We didn't have Double Jeopardy, so. Hey, trust me. I have. We've talked about that. Oh, okay. It's okay. it's a sore it's a sore spot for oh. me, all right? Okay. That we don't have Double just, Jeopardy. I looked it I mean, up. I didn't get any daily doubles in that one, so I'm just saying. I could find that's no other true. sources. That's my. That's why I don't like Jeopardy Labs. You can't do daily doubles and you can't do double Jeopardy. I just so looked it up. Sure. I cannot find a single source confirming yellow and brown, but everything I see is red and yellow. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I would say just give it to her. Hold on. You know why? Because that is the, the first Daredevil run that I actually read was the original Daredevil. All right. So we, we will modify due to our professional researchers. Yeah, I Emma appreciate that. Thank you. That's five hundred. Well, hold on, did you check? See, this is this is the lesson. If you are petty and you stand your ground and you bitch about it, it'll get done. In this country, yeah. Webb, as the host of this and the person who set this all up, did you create a Final Jeopardy question? Of course, you did. did. All right, it's a video game question. Yeah. yeah. Do we have to write it somewhere? Yeah, write Wait, it down. So he gives us the category. Category is video games. It's, that's pretty broad. Video. Wait, did you say video games? You did. did. That's bullshit. That's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. Set your wagers. Video game. It okay. It's the category is video games. It's supposed to be and broad. It's, is it? Yeah, like you'll yeah. Get, you'll get Final Jeopardy, and it'll be like the 19th century. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll give you that. All right. Oh man, and it's a tight race. So Eddie we all got have s- phones. Everybody pull so up the notes pull, app. Pull up the notes app on your write phone. Write it down, and then write place it, down. it face down in front of web. Okay. Face down in front of web. So we're yes. again. So you can't <clears throat> change it. So you can't Eddie is at six hundred. You I'm haven't asked the question. Okay. <laughs> why would you? Why would I? I don't know. I'm really confused. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I I know what I'm wagering. I'm ready to go. No, wait. We wager when we're doing this, right? After, yeah. We're, after I ask you the question, you wager. No, you wager before. You yeah, you wager, wager when before. you know the category. Okay. Wager when you know the category. So you know the category. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Because she's... they tell you the category before they go to commercial break, and then they wager, and then they come back and do. The so right now we're at commercial break because I told you the, oh, the category. When you come back, you're going to wager. This is intense. Just so everybody remembers. Eddie is at 600. During the break, barriers are placed between the contestants. And he's going to you, why are you looking at oh the rules? God. He just told you the no, rules. No, we just told you the rules. I don't write know. down the wager. That's why we call him Fast Eddie, folks. Eddie has 600. Corey has 600. Emma has 500. This is anybody's game right now. Can you stand the suspense? I can't. I can't. Why do you have to use the biggest thing? Okay. Because that's all I have. All right. I'm ready for this. The question. There is also a time mode on this. Of the category. Which is usually this song. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. What was that? Can I re- can, can you repeat the question? Right. Up, no. up, no. down, down, left, right, left, right, B, well, A, it? start. That's the question. That's the question. That's the question. Wait, that's the oh, question? Wait. That's yeah. the question. You have to know what the answer is. Or the question. That's the answer. You know the question. Yep. Hmm. Uh, Okay, Emma, how does this work? 
Do I display so, the answer? So you repeat you the question. The, you take the person in last place. Person in last place, which is me, which is you, and you say, I say, my answer was, what is the Konami code? And you tell me if that's right or wrong. That is correct. Okay, and there you go. And then she gets how much did she wager? I wagered zero dollars. Wait, what? Because I was counting on you two getting it wrong and wagering. Wow. So because they did get it wrong and they wagered <gasps> both the same amount. <gasps> what did you guess? They both wagered zero. Wait, no. What did you guess? Whatever. Oh no, hang on, never mind. I take that back. Oh my god. <laughs> Corey guessed the I, I I think you mean the contra code, right? That's what I put, yeah. Yeah, you put conta. Uh so either way you're wrong though. And uh Eddie put <laughs> what is the lives code for contra 2, but he bet $0. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so for this round of Jeopardy, the winner is Eddie Villanueva. Wait, I said the Contra code. What did That's, he say? It's, it's the Konami code. He but got it wrong. Way, wrong. Oh, oh. So he got it wrong, but he doesn't lose any points. I got it right, but I didn't gain any points. So I leave with zero VGB bucks? You leave with zero dollars. Eddie walks out of here with his 600 uh, or whatever he wagered, and I would leave with uh, second place. Gets $2,000. Damn wasted. Ugh. That's okay, fun. buddy. It, you know what? It's, I just want the record to show I'm the only one that knew that. You know what, guys? It's not the... And I never even had to use it because I didn't... It, it was for games. Contra, though. Like, it was. It, it, it but was it was the Konami code. Yeah, but... I, I don't know. I think that's kind of like... No, I get it. I get it. I called it the wrong thing, but it's not like I didn't know. Exactly. I Same knew here. a little too much. Knowledge that's was, true. Knowledge was my enemy. Exactly. This is the thing Just about, like apparently knowing the, the, the fact of the, the little Easter egg in Adventure was... Uh, You're never going to forget that. No, yeah, no. I mean, honestly, you deserve to win the whole thing for that. I was, yeah. Was Canine impressive. Fang says Emma wins because she has the correct wording. I did have the correct wording. I did get the question right, but based on points, Eddie is the winner. Based on points, Eddie. That is how Jeopardy goes. Emma won the final Jeopardy. Eddie won the game of Jeopardy. Yes. Exactly. And I had a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> With that video game category. With that video game category. <laughs> Even the ones that got wrong, you know, just good times with my buds. There you go. So fun. we're. Somebody gonna... says, "Was I born when this code came out?" And I honestly don't know. Mm. No, I don't think you were. Because yeah, I, I, so. I, I uh, was around in '94. I don't know when the Konami code was created. So how did you know that, Emma? Because it's I know video now. games. Yeah, it's just kind of like part of culture. That, that's that's kind of like the whole situation. Like you heard about it after the fact. Right. Probably in reading some book. I'm, well, I'm so curious. just saying. That's how, that's well, how, yeah, that's, that's exactly. How you, know it's good so you know exactly where I'm going with this. Exactly. I'm wondering in where, what I remember. Form of media. I remember actually playing it and having to put in that code so you can get all these li 99 lives, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. actually try to beat the game. Mm -hmm. But you've probably did read you? it on on the internet. I did. So. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is like the, you're getting to see the Gen X versus the. Millennial. 1986. This code predates me by a full eight years. Oh my this god. This code was in fourth grade by the time uh, <laughs> I was born. This code was a fourth grader. This code was still eating paste by the time Emma was born. Good job right. hosting, David. I'm Thank glad you. I like to I like you're back in the hosting chair. Yeah, mm -hmm. it feels good. Um, Eddie. Yo. Where can people find you? Uh, you can check us out at filmlossivers.com where you can head over to the VGB main website and check out all our previous episodes. We've got 147 episodes uh, with this last one being a review of Glass. So check it out. <gasps> I still haven't seen Ooh. it. I want to see it so bad. You can also check us out at uh, facebook.com forward slash filmlossivers and twitter.com forward slash filmlossophy101 where we can, we'd love to chat with you on all great movie news and latest reviews. Give us a teaser of the episode. Like, like give us a hook. What's going to make people want to listen to this episode the tagline to the film was glass uh okay as a whole but falls to pieces later Ooh. Whoa. i like how you guys do get all artsy with your guys' titles you guys do that pretty consistently well we got a have, we got a marketing manager on our team that's so, true so he does all looking, the copy i have specifically avoided looking at reviews for glass yeah because i didn't want to know anything going in it's not so no here's, here's you just know one dude's opinion Here, here's man. the thing it's not bad that's I, don't, it. I don't want to know but, anything. Yeah, I don't want to know anything. Yeah. I don't want to know anything. I like split better. That's fine. I don't want. I don't want to know. I didn't want to know that either. Don't want to know anything. You've ruined it for her. You mm -hmm. ruined this entire cinematic experience. Just like Superman ruined, makes an appearance. Just like she no, ruined does. Star Wars for everybody. A in purple the lightsaber shows up. You have to listen to the film lost because you want to see how many monocles Pulls Eddie gave it. 
Corey, yeah. uh, you're streaming again. Uh, when is your next streaming uh, venture? This weekend, for sure. So I, I've been streaming mostly on uh, like Sunday nights, if people want to stop it's by, easy, yeah. on my personal account, What's Up Pizzas. And it's just been complete randomness and fun. A lot of lo-fi music, and then uh, uh, then I'll go in and I mix my own like sound effects in the background. Pocket Asian has shared some clips. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, Pocket that concerns Asian. Him. He's my man. Yeah, he's like he's like helping me build this stream. Like he's making uh, gifts and like giving me sound effects. So it's very in the formative stages. So if you want to help me build this Twitch stream and just hang out for a few hours. And uh, it's it's been getting really fun. I'm I'm having fun. Nice, uh, Emma. Where can people find you? What's your Twitch stream schedule uh, like? They can find me online, on the internet. It's where I exist. Emma Skies on everywhere. I do not currently have a stream schedule because it's Saturday. We go over this every week. Oh snap! Today is Saturday. But you can find me at uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash Emma Skies, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, all of the things are Emma Skies because uh, I'm good at branding. As well as every fourth Damn. Saturday at Oblivion Comics and Coffee doing your cosplay 101. Yes. Plug that YouTube too, Emma. Uh, that's the other thing. If you are not local to Sacramento and you do have an interest in learning about cosplay, I am doing this class series as a video series as well. It will be a timed exclusive for Oblivion, so I will do the classes at Oblivion and then three weeks later it will be live on YouTube. So if you would like to see it, if you would like to learn about cosplay, but you are not local, it will be available. A condensed version of it will be in a video form. I love that you use the term timed exclusive in, in a video game podcast setting. I know. She learned from the it's best of them. Very, very. You gotta get the, it wasn't you. You got to get the Emma Skies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Damn. I was going to say, now you got to go get the Emma DLC package. And the <laughs> se- you have to get a season pass. If you want a <laughs> sick high five, you guys heard <laughs> off, off, off mic. <laughs> oh man all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching and uh sticking with us as we uh learn how to play jeopardy uh next saturday it right. will probably be somewhat more better <laughs> we will find <laughs> out <laughs> or, right. well that just sums up today <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> just sums for eddie villanueva Corey vincent emma skies this is the real david webb saying catch you guys next week <laughs>